Have you ever looked at birds and wondered how they can fly? So did two brothers named Wilbur and Orville Wright. The Wright brothers were two of seven children born to Milton Wright and Susan Catherine Corner. The family moved around semi-frequently until 1884 when they planted roots in Dayton, Ohio. As adults, Wilbur and Orville joined the craze sweeping the nation, opening a bicycle shop in 1892 with some success. Several years later, the Wright brothers would shift gears from the bicycle business to the airplane business. In their first attempts to fly, the Wright brothers were not so successful. They had two major problems to solve. How to get a plane off of the ground and how to maneuver it while flying. In aeronautics, this is what is known as lift and drag. Lift is the measure of the force needed to get something off of the ground. To account for lift, the Wright brothers had to fight against gravity in order to get the plane off of the ground and keep it in the air. Drag is similar to lift, as it deals with the force against the plane. Drag works by pushing the plane in the opposite direction that it flies, like the sensation a dog feels when he sticks his head out of the window of a moving car, or the rush of air felt on a roller coaster. In order to get a plane in the air, keep it there, and be able to keep the plane flying straight, the Wright brothers had to come up with their own equations for lift and drag. They tested their ideas by building wind tunnels to collect data. The information collected allowed them to design more efficient wings and propellers to counteract drag. The Wright brothers decided that they needed to control their plane in three dimensions, the pitch, roll, and yaw axes. They used a control mechanism called an elevator to control the pitch of the plane, or the angle of takeoff and descent. They controlled the roll by using their own body weight to maneuver the wings of the plane to stay parallel to the ground, a similar move that the brothers saw birds doing with their own wings. The yaw was controlled by a rear rudder, which controlled the motion of the nose of the airplane. The Wright brothers used these three axes to gain more successful control of their airplane. To overcome lift, the brothers turned to Charlie Taylor, a mechanic working in their shop, tasked to build a brand new lightweight engine. In six weeks, Charlie built a prototype engine made out of aluminum, uncommon for the time, but proved to be successful. With the success of equating lift and drag, their three axes control, and a brand new engine, the Wright brothers were finally able to get their airplane, the Wright Flyer 3, off of the ground and flying longer distances than any plane before.